Okay, everyone, before the show starts, I just want to say if you could head over to drupalstudios.wixsite.com slash drupalstudios, link is in the description, it's our new website. Uh, they all just about our games and stuff like that. Anyway, enjoy. Okay, everybody, right, so this video, we are going to be working on a crafting system. So last video we made some sticks. Now this video we're going to be doing crafting a crafting system. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to draw a new sprite. Now we want to go to sprites and we want to click paint. We're going straight into it on this video. Try not to make it as long as it should be, but it will probably end up being really long. And straight away you convert to bitmap, make your whole background black. Or you could be a bit fashionable and make it maybe a grey colour. If you wanted, like that. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Set the position to zero and zero, as we should be used to this kind of stuff by now. We'll rename this to crafting. And now we'll go over to inventory and we literally just practically grab all of this. So we will put that in there. There we are, that's in there now. We will switch over to that so it doesn't be annoying again. We will drag this into there, this into there, and this into there. It's so basically just dragging everything from my inventory system into this crafting. And now we'll right click clean up. Now we'll say, run back to the switches to game screen 2. If, and now we'll say, For this one, we'll say if C key pressed for crafting, and then to close it, we'll say X because why not? It's right next to C. So we'll go over to X, and yeah, and now on the crafting system, we want to add some boxes, boxes, boxes. So for this, I'm just going to go full screen on my computer quick. And we will have outline boxes which will be white. Now this will be for crafting purposes. We'll have these and we'll just paste, copy and paste them. Trying to get them as perfect as possible. Now this will probably do for now, and now in here, no, down here, this will say crafting menu, and we'll make this white. You might be wondering whether that one's thicker, I have a plan for that, so don't worry, which I think will look pretty cool. I'm going to grab this, cry. Oh dear, I will not grab the crafting menu, because it's not like that. And that's a convert to bitmap, I might be able to select it. So then means grab this. Now I'll fill this gap in here. With like that. Now I'll convert to vector, I'll we'll write ourselves some white text. I'll just say crafting menu. If you want you can play around with fonts and stuff, I'm not going to at the moment, but down here we'll have some more options which we'll get into in the future. And in here we'll say currently selected. Now we'll say Currently selected, and we'll just say something such as basics. I don't know. Now we'll make that white as well. Move it into there. And boom. And now this will be our basics craft. Now, um. 
in here we will have our first object which is gonna we're gonna have to make a sprite so we'll have to paint another sprite which we'll we'll call this crafting crafting and we'll call this uh crafting camp fire or something like that no actually we'll call this crafting blunt tool there we are and we'll just have to draw like a woods and stony thing so i'm going to get like a brown kind of color for wood and i'll see you when i'm done drawing <laughs> there we go this is my little tool <laughs> i'm just going to set the size to 75 and plonk it there and right next to it uh, so we'll call this as it was called before crafting blunt tool and we'll do one green flag kick well basically all we've got to do here is go into our crafting again and once again you guessed it drag everything into there so we'll do that we don't want the ghost effect though because i don't think that would be very nice and so right click clean up blocks there we go now rather than that go to we want go to this position which is that right now and then we will also also we want to go to crafting and change the ghost effect to maybe like 50 where i uh, 40 i'll do 40 where it's less like you know yeah like that in fact i'm just going to change it to 20 not nice and simple and you also want to go to costumes and add in some more text in here which is going to say next to your sprite you want it to say blunt tool in white or blunt tool yep there we go And then you'll also want to type in your um, requirements, which would be for us it'll be stone um, one six two. That'll be my requirements. And I'll stick that right there. And now we'll go over to here and we'll say when this right click. Uh, when this right click, you wanna if now on equals. In fact, actually, we want an and as well. So we'll say if we need an equals and. What we're going to do is just harvest this, so we're just going to say, if rocks equals 1, and sticks equals 2, then... And now, we duplicate this, and say, if rocks... Oops, let's just get this out. Now we just basically change this to bigger than. So if sticks is bigger than 2, and rocks is bigger than 1, it should also do the exact same thing. Just another test. Okay, so we'll go yoink, 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 yoink. We'll three sticks now. And the reason for this is simple. We're using an AND and we want an OR. OR 
or and then we also want an and <laughs> or and Actually, no, 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 I don't. Or, and then we want another or inside of this or, which will then say or, and then we want an and inside of that or. We have two more bigger thans, which will just be rocks bigger than one, and sticks <coughs> bigger than two. Now we'll try it, it will definitely work, trust me. If it doesn't, <coughs> we're allowed to all cry. We've also got a new tutorial coming soon, or first of a Unity tutorial, which will be interesting. Now it should give us. Works. And boom, yes, it works. Awesome. So there's that. Our first part. Now what we will do is duplicate this tool and we'll say this, say this in blunt tool. And this is gonna be the exact same except for it's gonna only open on the inventory. And it's not gonna show any variables. So it's whenever E is pressed and R is pressed, oops, not F, I want R. Now we don't want any of that, and that's literally it. That is all we need. And now we will click play, and now all we've got to do is reposition it in our inventory. Got that thing as well. Yep. Uh, e. Awesome. Awesome. Absolutely cool. Not awesome because now I've lost the thing. Damn it. Um. Now I've got to play again. <laughs> okay. So now we click E. And boom, we'll reposition that to about there. So now we'll with this inventory thing we'll say go to there and now on the inventory we just want to make a box around this. So control C and then control V like so, make this look sixty. No, not that 60. I mean, ugh, this stays at 100. I mean, this is six, uh, 50, actually. Now I'll make this to about there. That's pretty much it. We will make a new variable quick, and we'll call this blunt tools, and then we'll say set hide variable blunt tools. And now we've got all this to go through in a minute. <laughs> so, the way we're going to do this is we're going to do this thing again and we're going to drag in this into our in blunt tool. That we don't need. Uh, along with this. And this, and this. So basically, just drag everything out of the rock. And now we'll clean up. Don't not add a comment. Clean up. Show variable. 
blunt tools. Um, um, zero, zero. And then we'll say hide variable blunt to blunt tools set blunt tools when I receive crafted blunt tool change blunt tools by one receive def hide yet yeah. awesome should be it Cool, 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 cool. Right. Look at this. Awesome. We'll be fixing this variables being up there on different pages soon. I think for this episode, that should do it. We'll give it a quick test and make sure it does all work. See. And I'll say. E, boom, yep, just as we want. Now say C, craft, and now we can't craft this, that is interesting, which means, that is cool, well not cool but, Okay. Okay, everyone. Now what we've got to do is add in another ore into here. I'll say. Okay, that may look really long and complicated, but it should work. There you are. That's what it should look like, and now we should see whether it'll work. Yep, this works. There we are. Okay, now we press E, and we have a blunt tool. There we go, it works. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, so thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and bye.